안녕하세요. 내 이름은 James Brodsky. Uh, I lead Splunk's global security strategist team. Uh, I've been at Splunk for more than 10 years. This is my second trip to Seoul ever. Uh, I was here about 25 years ago. I wore a hanbok when I attended a traditional Korean wedding ceremony, but I was sorry I couldn't find the hanbok and bring it today. Uh, but a uh, Splunk t-shirt and jeans it is. So uh, my role at Splunk uh, is to lead our global security strategists. My team sits at the intersection of uh, Splunk's security product organization and our Splunk field sales organization, and we help customers with their most interesting security challenges. Uh, Faya introduced the concept of digital resilience to you. Let's consider it from a cybersecurity lens. When we talk about digital resilience, we reference disruptions. And disruptions caused by cybersecurity incidents frequently and materially compromise our digital resilience. Splunk did a report this year called the State of Security Report, where we polled our global customers and the industry leaders, and 62% of organizations experience critical app outages due to cybersecurity incidents, at least on a monthly basis, uh, with their critical business apps being offline for around 15.5 hours on average. This causes some companies to lose up to 2.7% of their annual revenue to downtime based on those security incidents. So I'll let that sink in, 2.7% of annual revenue. So our cybersecurity team's role is critical to digital resilience because we as cybersecurity professionals have to, and I paraphrase the NIST organization as, help anticipate, withstand, recover from, and adapt to adverse conditions, stresses, attacks, or compromises on systems that use or are enabled by cyber resources. So security, and by extension, digital resilience, is still hard to operationalize. Why is this? It's because you and your teams are faced with more vulnerabilities, more systems, more applications, more users, more cloud providers, more vendors. All of this means they're dealing with more alerts. And we know how hard it is to attract and retain good, skilled, cybersecurity professionals to deal with those alerts. So alert fatigue becomes a significant problem. Security analysts need to quickly decide which alerts are real and which ones are false positives. So how do you find multiple needles spread across a multiple variety of haystacks? Many of these challenges are not new. This Splunk state of security report that we did tells us that most security teams, it's harder for them to keep up with security requirements. There's a more sophisticated threat landscape. When they're asked about their SOC operations, they tell us that analysts are spending too much time pivoting between many different disparate security tools and management consoles that don't integrate with one another. And it makes it harder to respond. And when that adversary gets in, the average dwell time is about nine weeks long. So how do you handle all of this, and where do you start? We're Splunk, and we believe that security is a data problem. Our customers have a successful approach. It uses data to detect, sorry, to detect threats across decentralized, and diverse data sources, and it unifies and it automates the security operations to solve challenges that we have with disconnected tools, and it addresses process inefficiencies, and it also addresses the talent shortage. Splunk is committed to helping customers address these critical security challenges across three areas. We want the SOC analyst to be more effective and efficient. So with analytics and content, we invest in our detection and analytics capabilities 
so we can deliver more out-of-the-box content. We're also creating new analytic services in our products, like behavior analytics. These provide machine learning-based and AI-based detections. We want to unify better. We know that customers use multiple Splunk security products for threat detection, for investigation, for response. We want those products to work seamlessly across each other, which is why we are investing in solutions like Mission Control that unify the SIM experience and the SOAR experience into a single interface. And then automation. We've been a leader in security automation ever since we bought Phantom Cyber back in 2017. We believe in the power of automation to be able to help our customers achieve better security outcomes. And then, of course, AI. We already saw today how we're going to be starting to use AI from a security perspective to provide the next wave of security automation. None of this is new for Splunk. We started on a security-specific product journey 15 years ago with Enterprise Security, which is now a market-leading SIM. And since then, we've had a track record a very significant investment in security innovation. We're not letting our foot off the gas as we bring it all together into a unified experience. Two years ago, we acquired TrueStar to make the capabilities provided by threat intelligence platforms table stakes for a world-class SIM. We launched our SOAR product into the cloud, which is now the fastest growing product in our portfolio. Back in November, we acquired a company called TwinWave. That brings automated threat analysis capabilities to our products. And then three months ago, we launched Mission Control. That brings it all together into one modern and unified security work surface, which is already alive in over a thousand customer environments today. So today, Splunk for Security delivers unparalleled value for customers. Everything is built off of our time-tested data platform. It ingests, it normalizes, it analyzes security and other data at scale from any data source in your environment, and it does that in the cloud, on-premise, or both. ES is our industry-leading SIM. It's on top of Splunk. It is nine times in the Gartner Magic Quadrant, and it also leads in the Forrester and IDC industry reports. It has the number one SIM market share. Our industry-leading SOAR offers scalable automation for your repetitive security tasks. It allows for a very rich case management experience as well. And then we provide security thought leadership and rapid response for security through our surge team and rich, vetted security detection and playbook content from our threat research team. All of this combines into a winning threat detection, investigation, and response platform, or TDIR, and the broadest ecosystem of security partners in the market. We have 2,800 plus security integrations that support us. So, what does that TDIR solution look like? It's powered by our award-winning SIM and SOAR products. We helped revolutionize both of these categories, and I'm excited to tell you about our next wave of innovations that are coming. Let's start with our SIM. This is enterprise security. As many of you know, enterprise security includes powerful, built-in components like our threat intelligence framework and assets and identities, along with over 1,400 detections in our content library. Those are downloadable from research.splunk.com. Earlier this year, in Enterprise Security 7.1, we added powerful new features like threat topology visualization, MITRE attack mappings, and cloud-based streaming analytics. And we have some great features coming out later this year.
We've also expanded our streaming analytics for our behavior analytics product to include advanced machine learning detections powered by an internal data lake. This gives us the ability to create machine learning models that correlate data across a broad range of data sources and time ranges, and this helps you keep up with the latest threats. Then our security research team publishes new search-based detection content every two weeks in enterprise security content updates. For our Splunk SOAR product, we're investing in the SOAR platform and already shipped two releases this year. We have cut and paste support for notes, additional playbook triggers, better loop handling. We are also been busy building more pre-built detection content and playbook content, most of which maps to the MITRE DEFEND framework, making it even easier for you to build your own playbooks. And now I'm excited to share the latest addition to the Splunk security portfolio, Splunk Attack Analyzer. This is now available for customers. This came to us through the acquisition of a small startup called TwinWave that already had some global Fortune 100 customers using this technology. Attack Analyzer helps a SOC and IR teams efficiently analyze threats, including those that have gotten through your existing defenses. Let's take a closer look. Large enterprises are analyzing their employee reported phishing emails, web proxy alerts, and much more using Attack Analyzer today. Our unique technology automates this, anal uh, this analysis process. It jumps through the kinds of hoops that attackers are putting in, th in front of threats today in order to evade detection. This means that Attack Analyzer can do things like automatically scan QR codes, click on buttons in web pages, interact with over 500 different file sharing services, and so much more. <clears throat> with the addition of Attack Analyzer, Splunk now has the most complete TDIR solution available. So how do we pull all of that together? Well, let me introduce to you the all new Mission Control. I know some of you have made a, heard of Mission Control in the past, but earlier this year, we launched a completely new version of Mission Control, built from the ground up, to be a Splunk app that unifies SIM, SOAR, and threat intelligence. Let's take a look. With Mission Control, analysts perform their complete investigation workload from a single interface. Enterprise security notables automatically show up in Mission Control and include additional context provided by our integrated threat management solution. And Mission Control's integration with SOAR makes it easier than ever to take common actions like quarantining a user or blocking IP addresses all from a single interface. This is currently available for cloud customers with support for on-premises coming later on this year. Let me show you a quick demo of Mission Control and Attack Analyzer. Our customers are always looking for ways to improve and streamline how they operate. The more you can do to automate repetitive tasks, the more time your team has to focus on higher priority tasks and the things they actually enjoy doing. In this demo, Theodore, an employee at the Splunk t-shirt company, has just fallen prey to a cunning email phishing scheme. Now let me guide you through how the new Splunk capabilities we just announced can streamline the phishing investigation workflow. I think you're in for a much smoother ride. First off, Mission Control. Mission Control brings together the best of Splunk SIM and Splunk SOAR into a single interface for the security analyst. In the Mission Control Incident Review Dashboard, you'll see the aggregated notable events that came in from our SIM, Splunk Enterprise Security. Here, they can detect, investigate, and respond even more efficiently. With Mission Control, you get the data, 
and context you need right at your fingertips without having to waste time pivoting between screens. Now beyond just unification, Mission Control allows you to build repeatable and auditable processes by codifying your standard operating procedures in the product itself. You can also help the analyst complete the defined tasks by using embedded SOAR functionality or Splunk searches. And if you haven't dived into security om automation yet, guess what? With every Mission Control instance, you get a six month SOAR trial for free. It's a great way to see all of the automation magic up close. But wait, there's more. Utilizing our new Splunk Attack Analyzer can help speed up your time to remediation while still ensuring a high quality investigation. So let's take a look. When you're doing a credential phishing or malware investigation, you usually have to manually synthesize the data, files, or URLs to formulate insights and then take the time to draw conclusions and take action. But that's a lot of work. Now, with Attack Analyzer, you can automate all of that threat analysis. Splunk Attack Analyzer automatically navigates through varying delivery vectors of the attack chain, such as accessing malicious content, downloading files, or even entering passwords to get to the final payload, which it then analyzes. Splunk Attack Analyzer can take this URL and actually visit the page to deeply analyze it. It then provides a detailed analysis and produces a reliable threat score that I can leverage to make an even faster determination about the disposition of this incident. With Mission Control's unified interface, advanced embedded response capabilities, and now Splunk Attack Analyzer to automatically detect and analyze the most complex credential phishing and malware threats, your security team is equipped with the most powerful TDIR solution designed to optimize your security operations and significantly reduce your MTTR. Now, are you ready to experience the next level of operational efficiency in your SOC? Okay, as you just saw, Splunk is investing in our security products, including creating industry-defining solutions for TDIR. The underpinnings for this TDIR solution are best-of-breed SIM technology that is the only solution to be named a leader across all three major analyst reports. We believe these recognitions demonstrate our commitment to delivering cutting-edge security solutions to help customers stay ahead of emerging cyber threats. That does not mean we are resting on our laurels and we are continuing to innovate rapidly. No matter where you are on your security journey, Splunk has the right solution to help you solve your most pressing security challenges. So what's next? Uh, we are here to help you get the most out of your Splunk environments. If you're interested in learning more, you can schedule a security assessment we can help you get started on a guided security value exercise to help you identify the right adoption journey for your environment based on your security maturity and your priorities. Then the Korea team is hosting a monthly Splunk workshop. Uh, luckily, the next theme is SOAR. It will take place on September 21st and January 25th next year. It'll be conducted in Korean it will follow a hybrid format uh, combining both Zoom sessions and an offline component. So please join us for that and experience that yourself. Uh, you may also, if you are a cloud customer, uh, activate Mission Control and get a six-month free SOAR trial with it. Uh, and of course, you can sign up for our up-to-date security research with surge alerts on Splunk.com. Thank you very much. Gamsa Hamnida.